Hey there, it's Fairy here. Today I want to talk about color stuff. Stop it, color pop. We're done with your makeup releases. You release too often. It's exhausting. Um, and so is this talking point. I'm really tired of seeing it. It's everywhere. It's on Reddit. It's on Instagram. It's probably on Twitter. Uh, and of course, you see it on YouTube. It's funny when Nisa Pisa does it, but uh, she, she talks about it, and, and so do a lot of other beauty gurus. And um, I'm, I'm done with it. I've been on our makeup addiction for about four years now, and the past two and a half, you've seen this sort of talking point, like, hey, you guys, like, color pops, like, don't you think they release a lot, guys? Like, they kind of release a lot, and it's really hard to keep up with and blah, 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 I'm really tired of it. It's uh, been a weekly talking point for the past two and a half years. If you were to go back and like look up ColourPop, exhausting, you would see it. And just the other day, I, I saw another one and I just sort of like, Jesus Christ, can we, can we shut up about ColourPop's exhausting releases? And it was in this actual moment that I actually thought about it more. I thought about why it bothered me because, you know, for a long time it didn't bother me. I, I was definitely on the train of like, yeah, Claire Pup comes out with way too much stuff. But that was back before I had my new sort of mindset about it all. And that sort of mindset sort of just rushed to the circuit. It was like, hey, maybe this is why you find this annoying now. So I just want to share that fam. <laughs> I think what annoys me most about these posts is that you would think these people think, there's a lot of thinking going around, that ColourPop is holding a gun to their head. It's like, but buy it, buy it, buy my new makeup, which is not what they're doing. But I think the consumer feels that way. And I think the fact that the consumer feels that way is indicative of something bad. And you can blame the companies basically for making the consumer feel this way, but in the end it comes down to the consumer and looking inwards and wondering, why do I think ColourPop is exhausting? Why is it like mentally harming me to some extent? Like it's not that deep, but come on, just walk with me here. Why does it feel, why am I stressing out over ColourPop's releases? Why do I feel stressed out by it? And it's because I feel you're living in a mindset where you think that if a brand comes out with something, you oh. have to buy it. I.e. you're not making conscious decisions about your purchases. <laughs> you're not being intentional about your spending habits. You're relying on a brand whose sole goal is to make money from you. You're telling them, hey, you have the responsibility. You're the one being saddled with this responsibility brand to decide when and where and how I spend my budget on makeup. You know, the same thing could be said for fast fashion. And ColourPop, the owners have themselves admitted, probably before fast fashion had like a really negative, <laughs> a really negative connotation that like, yeah, we're totally intending to be fast fashion makeup. That's our model, that's our goal. That's what we're striving for. We're striving for fast fashion makeup. Once upon a time, this was true for clothing. It's also true for makeup. Brands only came out with a couple collections a year. There would be a spring, a winter spring, I want to say, or a spring summer, and then a fall winter. Yeah, I think that's how it works out. And now that's obviously not the case. We're not looking for those like massive releases at two points or maybe three points in a year. It's something that's constant. So before the brand was limiting you because the brand was saying, you don't have much opportunity to buy something from me. And if you don't like a collection that we release, well, I guess you're not gonna purchase from that collection. But now it's something that's weekly, like tri-weekly. <laughs> ColourPop releases like three things a week, three collections a week. And ColourPop is also an interesting case because it has like, um. A sex factor going on wherein what they release well their releases are obviously new and that like mentally is so enticing for the consumer to have something new but then you also have something that's trendy new and trendy aren't the same thing trendy you know you feel like you're part of something special 
It's not just that it's new, it's that it's like what all the cool kids are wearing. So you feel like you're purchasing something that will put you into a group, a club, a community where it's like close, closed off from others but you're in it. And then you also have something that's curated, so it's special. For the most part, ColourPop comes out with quite curated collections. After a while, you find, well, after a while of like seeing their releases, you can see sort of the similarities in them. But for the most part, ColourPop takes an idea and they just sort of go with it. And for that reason, you feel like you're buying something special. Of course, it's also cheap. It's also affordable. It's very easily accessible for the consumer if you're waiting to wait three days for it to ship out. <laughs> and even better than that, it's quality. You know, you're not buying crap makeup. For the most part, you can be confident that if you're gonna buy something from ColourPop, it's gonna be good quality. The same can't be said for say, uh, Wet n Wild or even BH Cosmetics or Makeup Revolution or something like that. And lastly, of this sex factor, you have the fact that it's limited. Not only do you get, oh, this is new. Not only do you get, oh, like I'm part of the special group and that I'm buying this special product and that it's cheap and that it's quality. You also get the FOMO, the fear of missing out. All that sort of just inspires you to buy, buy, buy. But the reality is, despite all this, despite all of the techniques that ColourPop uses to get you to constantly buy and constantly keep up to date with their collections in the end the responsibility still falls on you you still have to be conscious you can't say hey brand i'm just gonna go by what you're doing and whenever you release a collection i'm gonna look at that shit and i'm gonna probably buy one or two things from it maybe the whole thing um the reality is, you no, you need to be more conscious in how you look at collections, especially when you know it's a brand that releases collections so often. ColourPop's constant releases are annoying because they force you to realize that you're not being conscious, that you're not being intentional. If you were being intentional, you would be able to look at a ColourPop release and be like, oh yeah, cool. It wouldn't be bothersome because you're not in that mindset in that case to be like, let me look at this, let me see what's interesting and that I can buy. You just look at it and you go, oh huh, yeah, cool. You're annoyed with ColourPop because you would rather blame the brand than look internally and ask why you even feel inclined to buy from every collection that they release in the first place. You're not thinking about what you want, what you truly want, what really grips you, and what really you can see yourself purchasing, um, not purchasing, uh, using and loving for years to come, you're buying just based on what you find interesting and cool or pretty and new. Whatever sparks that feeling. But eventually, you know, that uh feeling just sort of dissipates. And it's sort of up to you what you have, what you've purchased. When that feeling dissipates, do you end up with nothing? Do you end up with a couple things that you really love? Or do you end up with all this makeup that you're not really using, though it might look pretty and perform well, that you're ignoring just to look at that new, exhausting, beautiful ColourPop release. But those are just my harebrained thoughts on the matter, fam. It's, this was honestly something I just came up with last night when I saw that fucking thread. Like, ColourPop's so exhausting. It, is it just me? Is it just me, guys? No, it, it's, it's not just you. I'll see you next video.